Hello, my name is Tia Jones and this is my self-directed learning project. To complete the self-directed learning survey, I created a learning contract. My learning contract had three goals. To plan for projects ahead of time, to start using note cards and post-it notes, and also to learn to say no to prevent from double booking from events. In order to achieve these goals, I started using a Google Calendar as my final draft planner. I had a paper planner as a rough draft planner. I used sticky notes and note cards throughout my everyday life. Also, I completed an additional survey and I asked three of my coworkers to complete a survey as well. By the end of this contract period, I also had my three coworkers to retake the survey and I also retook the survey. In order to accomplish goal number one, I will use two different planners in order to stay organized. I have a paper planner, which I use as a rough draft type planner. I will write all of my due dates and then I will set earlier due dates for me to have assignments completed by and also incorporate things that I have to do throughout the week. As things get canceled, rearranged or changed, I will simply edit in the paper planner then a week prior to the upcoming week, I would simply sit down and create my Google Calendar, which would be the final cut of the final draft of what I have to do for that week. And anything I have completed or was able to cross off on my paper planner would not make it to my Google Calendar planner. An example of my Google Calendar is posted. As you see, it's color coded. What I have to do personal is in purple. What I have to do for work is in yellow, and what I have to do for my classes are in blue. So this slide is examples of applying this goal. These um, post-it notes and note cards are from this week um, because, of course, every week I throw it out, you know, because we've moved past that, and I start over with the new week. I try to organize my note cards not just by due dates but also by classes, um, throughout this project, I've learned that another reason why I was feeling overwhelmed is because I was trying to complete all three classes at one time. But when I clear my mind and I focus on one class at a time, it has actually helped me to not feel overwhelmed because my mind is then focused on that one complete subject and not trying to go from statistics to cultural environment to adult learning theory. I'm just, okay, I'm going to focus on adult learning theory for now then I'm gonna focus on statistics, then I'm gonna focus on culture development. So it just helps me keep my mind in a straight path. Um, also, this is an example of my lesson plan. And then I just, again, like I previously said, I can cross out, rewrite, and it just really helped me keep going day to day. Um, I have stuff on my laptop, which keeps me engaged. So every time I open up my laptop, I'm reminded of events that I have to do. I also have a bulletin board right by my desk. I have created a bulletin board of information that's given to me from my school. And that way, every time I have something going on, I can just look up and be reminded of it or just see it. And it jumps out to me. And I know that I have to complete this task or I have to go to this meeting or that I have this project coming up. In order to accomplish goal number three, um, as previously stated, I use a rough draft planner, which is my paper planner and my official planner, which is my Google Calendar planner. And as I was inputting stuff into Google Calendar, if I noticed that I made a mistake and double booked myself, I was doing it a week prior, which gave me enough time to reschedule or cancel an event. The second thing I did was I simply learned how to say no. Um, it took me some time. It was very difficult for me, but I learned how to do it, and it has prevented me from double booking myself. For my evidence, I did two more surveys. One of them was a personal survey that I took myself. It, I scored an overall 210, and it showed that I lacked emotional control and stress tolerance. I had three coworkers take the survey that's to the right, the blue and white one, and it showed that I had some room to improve on my organization skills. I scored a sometimes. The variable was none, rarely, sometimes, often, and always. Therefore, I had room where I could improve to always.
personal survey, I scored low in stress and emotional control, which are very similar. And in order to overcome this lack, what I've realized is to simply take things one step at a time. So instead of trying to complete assignments for all three classes at once, I will focus on one class, finish all the assignments for that class, then move to the other class. And that really helped me from feeling stressed and helped me control my emotions and just get what I needed to get done, done in a timely manner. Post results for the SGL survey, the personal survey, and my peer survey all increased. For the self-directed learning survey, I was not able to list anything as a DK or a LO, which made me very thankful. Also, for my personal survey, my score increased to 252, and my peers rated me as always. This just mean that these skills I need to continue to incorporate in my everyday life and just continue to focus on them in order to prevent becoming overwhelmed. Learning style inventory. I am a simulator learner. I learn from seeing others do it. I learn from observing and then applying on my own. I can identify as divergent because I love to work with music playing in the background or even in group settings. I can be accommodating because I love to receive feedback from others. And also, I learn from trial and error, which also provides feedback from myself in order to increase my own performance. I can identify as conversion because I spend a lot of time researching and, um, again, asking for others in order to make sure I improve my skill for the better. Last but not least are my reference. I look forward to you all's feedback. And I just want to say thank you in advance and thank you for watching the video. Have a wonderful day.